mute. So basically, go uh, ahead and stand up. And I'm just going to um, talk with you a little bit about why I put this um, class in. Um, it, I've been in the industry for 22 years, and I've seen my body change in the last 22 years. Obviously, as I'm getting older, um, I'm, I'm just really listening uh, carefully. And I also observe people all the time in my world, and especially ones that are well into their 70s and 80s that are doing movement. And I'm looking like, what are they doing? So I've kind of taken this um, natural pull throughout my experience of being in the fitness industry. And this is a, a, a little bit of a, an insight into what I do on a regular basis. And it may give you some ideas. Um, this is something that you can do, say before you go do a, maybe a more vigorous activity or after. So if I know I'm gonna go on a long bike ride, or a run and I'm gonna be exerting some vigorous energy or something at the club when we're open, then um, I try to incorporate this movement in. Uh, I typically would do this before I would go say out on a run. And um, so a lot of it is uh, preparation and being in tune with what's going on with my body. What's going on with my shoulder, my neck, my knees, my hips, and not just pushing through that pain, but trying to actually get into movement that I can actually heal um, even with light movement. So let's go ahead and we're going to spend some time in warm up. Um, and you can see I've got a couple of mats that are out basically so that I can sure show you directional things. But I'm going to start um, in just a little bit of a wider stance. I'm going to relax those arms and join me with some of this movement. Modify as you need to, um, but just know that this is going to be a little bit of a flow. And the first part would be just getting the, um, the body warm. So I'm going to drop down with nice relaxed arms in an easy squat, swing them, and then reach up. So I'm going to let them be heavy and then reach up. So I'm just going to do a nice swing and then open the hips. And letting my body relax on the down and reach to the up. So from the side, you can see I'm giving a little bit of a back bend. So a little bit of a back bend. So sit back and come up and sit back and come up two more, sit back, come up one more, sit back, and then just stop there. Bring your feet in narrow and do the same thing. So drop up and reach, and reach. And I just kind of allow my arms to relax, my hands are relaxed. I'm waking up the body and I'm sitting back and I'm coming up. Nice breath. Sitting back and coming up and doing two more. So again, just prepping the body and relax. Take the feet back to wide and I'm gonna rotate. I'm gonna pick up the heel of the back foot and I'm gonna rotate in a twist. I'm gonna do a little side to side rotation, sweeping the arms, relaxing the shoulders, and sweep, and sweep. Get a little lower, get a little higher. Do four more, one, two, three, and four. Take a reach overhead and then bring it back. Reach and then bring it back. So left arm, left knee, left arm, left thigh. Reach and bring it back. Two more, reach, bring it back. One more, get that side stretch and then switch over and low. Over, now you can always leave this squat out. I just want a little more heat. 
So a little bit of this heat warming, dynamic stretching, reaching, and elbow coming down. And reach, and elbow coming down. One more. Beautiful. Step the feet in. Give me a backstroke right arm. Big reach. So visualize that you have a wall next to you and see if we can just climb that arm up to the top and give a nice circle. Big reach. Big reach. Take or leave the knee bend. And then please go to the other side. I reach. And I'm opening up. I want to get a little bit of range going through the shoulder. You can always take the elbow back if there's something up with the shoulder. Listen to your body. This is what I do. Good. And switch to the other side, but come to me. Swim with that arm. Swim forward. Breathe all the way through. Four and three, warming up and two. Nicely done. Switch it out. Looking good. I love your circles. They're big and I'm seeing a couple modifications. That's great. Make this suit you. And again, nice. Give me one more, please. Woo. Okay, so we're getting warm. So let's give a little bit of a hip movement. I'm gonna roll that hip from inside to outside. I have a slight bend in my standing leg and you could always have a chair or a table or something there. I'm not gonna do more than eight. I'm gonna open to the side. And I like to use my arms that just helps warm up the hips. There is my eight and I switch over and around. Getting that knee all the way to the outside, do what you can do. From the inside to the out. Inside to the out. Nice, you can reach the arms, you can pretend like you're in the water. Good, one more. Nice, and stop. Now I'm gonna go out to the end. Out to the end. Out to the end. Looks good. Pick that knee up and bring it in. Knee up and bring it in. Doing well. Knee up, bring it in. Knee up and switch. Again, I get nice and stable through that standing leg. Nothing's locked. I'm going to open the best I can and then bring it to the center. Over and around. Over and around, over and around. Nice, and stop. Place your hands just above your knees, gang. And let's do some knee circles, ankle circles. I'm picking up my heels ever so slightly. And I'm focusing on that movement going around like counterclockwise. And then go the other way. So focusing more on my ankles and knees, especially if I know I'm gonna go out and be doing a run or a hike or something that I really wanna be warm. Good, nice. Now stand up a little bit. If I place my hands around the waist, I'm gonna focus a little bit more on the hip circles. So I'm visualizing Tracing a circle all the way around from one side to the other. And then let's switch, let's rotate. I'm just doing a nice sweep all the way through the side. So I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna feel that movement spring up through the hips and stop. Good, hands are to the side. I'm gonna lift up into calf raises and start getting those feet, phalanges, everything moving. Lift and lift. Going eight, seven, six. Lift up, a little higher, and four, and three, and two, and one. Nice, 
Lift the right, lift the left. No jumping, just getting a nice rotation. From the front, you look like this. From the side, nice strong upper back. Knee coming up, alternating with running arms. Go eight, seven, drive that elbow back. Six, five, four, three, two, beautiful, and one. Legs are about hip width apart. Reach down the side of the leg and breathe. Good, give me four, pair, and reach as far as you can. Two, two, one, pause, bend the knees slightly, deep breath in, exhale and flow to the floor. Take the hands on the shins and see if you can straighten the legs. Fold again, reach behind you, but this time sit down in a chair. So stand, fold, watch your back, bend your knees, flatten the back, reach down, and bring it back up with the arms behind, but then sit down in the chair. Two more, reach, dive in, press in, roll forward, reach back, and sit in the chair. Reach up, take it down, feel the length in the back of the legs, flatten the back, fold again, reach back, and bring it into the chair. Beautiful, okay. Shake it out just a little bit. Sometimes I would get a little sip of water and I would regroup. But that's how I'm prepping my body before I get into a regular routine of just movement patterns for an increase in my shoulder stabilization and mobilization, as well as my core strength. And yes, there's going to be some lower half and a little bit of cardio, but it's the theme is just to prep for my day. I can do it morning, noon, night, okay? So let's go ahead and step out, and we're gonna do a modified jack. So I'm gonna reach, two, come with me, three, four, five. I'm not gonna get too crazy on counting these, but just go with me. Call this 10. Nice, call this 12, and stop. Okay, now would you please come down to the floor and you're gonna move into two moves on the floor. Watch the first one, I call it bicycle. This has been around for years, but I want to start warming up the core and watch my upper back body. I'm not gonna lower that down and I'm gonna do about 10 to 12 pair. Come with me. One, two, three, four, Five, support the neck. Seven, eight, nine, doing well. 10, 11, perfect, nice. So that's about the most I'm gonna do. I'm gonna turn over and I'm gonna do my, what I'm calling a hip rotation in my low plank. Now, I'll show you two ways to do this. It's great for the core and the hip. So you can come down on your knees and you can roll from one side to the other. I have my elbows under my shoulder. If you are used to doing plank, you can do this also on your toes. So pick one and join me. So I'm gonna roll one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Lower your knees down, walk your hands up, walk your feet under you, and come back to the mat standing. Nice job, modify those as you need to. Now, I'm gonna do what's called a skate. 
I like to have my mat wide because I'm going to use that. I'm going to leap over and I'm going to curtsy behind. So if you see, I'm going to tap my toe behind me. My arms are just going to help me to get a little more heat, a little more core. Good. So let's do four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Now stay wide. Rotate the knees to the corner of your room and watch. I'm going to laterally move and I'm going to pick up the toes of the opposite foot. I'm going to bend and shift and try the other side. Notice the heart rate comes up and I'm not having to do anything really that high impact. I have skates and I had a little bit of reach with the jacks. I'm moving laterally and what I'm just calling a lunge. I'm lengthening that leg, feeling the hamstring, the inner thigh. So we're gonna shift that weight. Good work. Do two more. So go to the side and to the side. Beautiful. My favorite move of all time for core is my go-to, my Russian twist. You've seen it, you've done it. I'm adding it deep into my workout here this morning because I'm nice and warm. I'm gonna rotate and I'm gonna decide to lean back. You could decide to be here. So think about wringing it out. Another option would be to pick up your feet. You pick. So do 10, nine, eight, seven, nice job, and six, five, four, three, two, and stop. I love this next one because guess what? You get to go all the way back down on your mat Take your legs wide. Take your arms wide and come into a reach or a star crunch. And lift. And lift. Woo! Really reach for that foot. Come up. So you can always keep your head down, right? You don't have to lift up. Do four and three, go two, and one. Beautiful. I have one more in my eight moves that I picked. I'm gonna go on my hands, and I'm gonna go with my leg and hips up. Watch. My right foot goes to the outside of the right hand, and I come back. My left goes to the outside. Good. Join me. One. Crouch, two, crouch, three, crouch, four, crouch, five. So do five more. Listen to your body. You don't have to do this many, but this is where I'm going because I want to be nice and warm. Do one more. And ease up, slowly come up. Step into your mat. So there are my eight exercises that I've chosen. We're gonna run through again, and I'm gonna do 12 repetitions. Remember, if you don't wanna do a jack, then I want you to do a reach and count each one with me. So let's do 12 in three, two, one, and go. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Beautiful. Bicycle is my next move. And I'm counting them in pair. So you're modifying where you need to. One, two, three. Come on, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 
So I'm going to turn. I want the hip rotation. I'm in my plank. You decide how far you want to go down. You can go straight leg. I count each hip roll. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Walk it up nice and easy. Come to your feet. Take a breath. Step to one side. You have your skater. So go ahead and go one. Two, free the arms. Three, come on. Four, low impact. Five, steps it back. Higher impact hops. Eight, nine, ten. Rotate that core. Beautiful, and there's my 12. Step it out wide. Rotate the knees just out. Shift, toe up, and rotate. I don't rush these at all. I want the full range. And four, five. Notice what's going on with one side. Is it even? Does it feel a little different on this side? Did you have an injury? Can I just work? through in a good positive way and not have any ow to it. Hopefully that makes sense. There's your stop. That's your 12. If you recall, I have the seated Russian twist. So when I come back to the floor, I know I'm on my Russian twist after that. One, two, three, Four, ring it out. Five, get around. Six, seven, and eight. Go nine, and 10. Do 11, one more, and 12. Now remember the good news, I picked my movements for a reason. I wanna have a little rest on the back. I reach up for the star crunch. I exhale when I come up and reach. I'm counting them like five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We can do this. Eleven. And there's your twelve. So I'm going to turn over. Again, thinking about what I'm going to do for my day. I want my hips warm. So I'm going to do a nice crouch position. And I'm going to take foot and back. Foot and back. And back. So nice and wide. Good work for the shoulder. If it's too much, then you could just hold your plank. You could come down knees and hold plank while we do 12 reps of the crouch. So I'm gonna do four, three, two, one, and then I'm gonna walk up. Again, just feel how warm you're getting by doing eight moves. Awesome work. What I'm gonna do this time is the 12. I'm gonna give you an indication of about how long that we want to be spinning in this time. So I'm going to set my watch. I'm going to look at the clock. We're going to do our 12 jacks. Ready and go. Come on, stay with me. Four, five, you count. Nine, 10, 11, 12, beautiful. Okay, do you remember our second move? I have to look. Bicycle, how could I forget? Okay, so come on down. Show me your second set of bicycle. So is this fine? Absolutely. Or I'm going to come up and do 12, 11, 10, 9, 
eight, seven, six, five. Come on, go. Four, three, two, and stop. Rotate over onto your elbows. Hip rotation. Show me what you're doing. Knees. Or you're going toes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Bring it up. This time I'm going to start on the other side of the mat. So I'm not always doing everything exactly the same way. Skater, please. Go. Tag that foot behind. I like it. Two. Come on. Three. Four. Five. Doing well. Use those arms. Six. Seven. Eight. I like your work. Nine. Let's do it strong. Ten. You have two more. Eleven. And twelve. Stay wide. Slide rotation. Drop down. Lengthen. Toe up. And move laterally. And three. Go four. Go five. Working six, seven, stretch it out, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Good work. Seated, Russian twist. Feet up perhaps this time. Try it. If it's too much, put the feet down. Bring it out. Do 12 pair. Four. Five. Six. Ring it out. And seven. Feel that waist burn. Eight. Strong back. Nine. Ten. Remember what's coming. And 12. So we get the head down. Reach out those arms. And lift. Exhale. Get a stretch for the back of the leg. Reach. Nice and wide. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Come on. Nine. Big reach. And ten, everybody. Two more. There's eleven. And there's twelve. Turn over for our tiger squat or crouch. Hands or elbows. And step back. Step back. Step back. Back. Five. Six. Seven. See if you can do 12. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. And 12. Good. Walk it up. Restack the spine. That took you less than five minutes. Okay, so shake it out. Relax it a little bit. You're going to give me one more set. So again, I could use this as a in between my workout, longer workouts. I could use it on an off day, but I have 10 minutes of my warm up all through getting the synovial fluids. I do 20 minutes of this eight, eight exercise regime, and then we're gonna stretch. So I need you to give me everything. It's less than five minutes. You're starting with 12 jacks, and please go. Come on. Ten, come on, 11. 12, yes, bicycle built for two. All right, some of you guys ride bikes. So let's see our core and our legs. Three, four, five, 
six, do what you can. Seven, this is last time. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, beautiful. Turn over, hip rotation in your plank. Hip roll, pick your option. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yes, there's your twelve. Walk it up, tuck the feet under. Think about even how you stand up to make it strong. Skater, twelve pair. Go. Two. Three, I like your work. Come on, stay with me. Five and five. Six, seven, eight, nine, leap, 10, keep the arms. 11, tap it back. 12, and perfect. Take it wide. Nice breath. Take the weight down. Watch this knee. I'm putting the hips back and glide to the next. You could be up here. Nothing wrong with this. You listen to your body. Four and five, six. Shift that way. Eight, nine, ten. Ooh, one more to your left. Beautiful. Okay, easy coming down. Russian twist. Pick your option. Deep breath in, set, and go. Two and two. Three and three. Four and four. And six, six, seven, seven. Eight, breathe, get that heart rate down just a little bit. 10, 11, there's my 12. Take it all the way back, stretch. Exhale, start, crunch. And two, go three, and four. Going five, six, seven. Eight, you got it, come on, go nine. 10, give me two more, and reach for it, one more. Perfect, now you turn over. We do that crouch. Pick your option, pull plank if you need to. I'm gonna take one foot to the outside of the same hand, and two, and three, and four. And five, do 12 if you can. This is it, seven, eight, stay with me, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Walk it back, hands to the feet. Slowly restack your spine. Walk onto the side of your mat. Good work. Pick up where we left off. You just spent 20 minutes in your meat and potatoes. Now I'm going back to prepare my body for a gentle cool down, but still moving. Deep breath in, you've done this. Just do three, exhale and fold. Take the hands on the shins, flat in the back. Fold again. And then bring the arms behind, and I still want to continue to feel the heat. So I sit back, and I stand. Two more. Exhale, see if you can get down a little bit more. And push. And lengthen. Reach back and up, being in tune with the whole body. Reach and dive. Flatten the back. Straighten the arms. Reach behind and sit back down in the chair. 
Nice work. Take those feet and straddle the mat or take it outside wide. Good work. Push through the hands like you're gonna reach to me and sit back into a wide squat and then bring it up like you're gathering something into your waist. Push it away and bring it in. Good, and focus on breath. Push and draw that in. Little push pull here and here. Four more, so I'm gonna push away. I'm just kind of bringing it down. Push away, squeeze some chest. Good, take the elbows back. And last one. Nicely done, good. Walk your feet in, take your right foot to me. Take your back foot and smear the foot. Then bend the knee just a bit and you decide how far you're gonna go. Reach up first of all with both hands, come up straight leg on the back and then bend the knees down. Float the arms to the side in a big T. Take them across the body and wrap them around until you feel the back of the shoulders. Good, and just kind of notice what arms are on top right now. Then open, reach, and then as the hands come down, we step in. So I'm just gonna flow because I know I'm just gonna keep moving today. So I'm gonna get the smear on the back foot. I'm gonna drop in just a little bit. Then I'm gonna open up the arms. I'm gonna stand up and they're gonna come up and then I'm gonna lower down. Take them to a T, try to keep the legs fixed. Good. Wrap the other arm on top. Just notice where do the fingers go. Still building some heat in that position. Open to that T. Nice job. Come on up. Stand all the way up. Take those feet and shake those legs out just a little bit. Perfect. Take the feet wide. Turn your right toe. Not sure if you can see me too well, but turn it to your side wall. Then I'm gonna open up my stance and I'm gonna try to keep my front toe, my back toe to you. I'm just gonna go ahead and take those arms out and then leverage that right hand to the inside of the knee, just a little bit, and then tip over. Feel the side body all the way down and lengthen that whole left side. That looks nice. Now stand up using this glute to bring your body up, straightening that leg slowly. Now pivot the right toe to me and turn your left to the side wall. Yep, that's it. Okay, bend slightly and then give me a little bit of just nudge so I know, okay, I wanna keep that knee in line. Then I'm going for the reach all the way over to the side team. Yep, very nice. Whew, feel that length. And then you're gonna bring that up, turn your toes, walk them in a heel toe, kind of walk them out just a little bit. I want you to walk in place. So we're gonna just walk in place. You got somebody coming over and you're gonna go out on your walk around the neighborhood or your meeting at Montaña de Oro or wherever we possibly can. And I'm just gonna kind of get those hands and feet going and I'm doing like a little bit of a walk in place. So I'm gonna go 10, nine, eight, seven, just keeping some heat, six, using those arms, five, four, three, nice work, two, and one. So totally gentle, just walking that out, and I'm just kind of keeping those knees nice and loose. So I'm gonna give a focal point out in front, right below you, and I'm gonna wrap my hands around one knee. I'm gonna give it a tug, notice it's below my knee. And I'm letting it go. I'm gonna hug the other and I'm gonna let it go. So it's very similar, you were just walking and now I wanna hug in and let it go. Focus on something and don't forget to breathe. 
five, let it go, four, there it is, three, I like it, two, nice, one, beautiful, tread those feet out, walk in place, just walk in place, it feels so good, no matter whatever you've been doing, and just relax, just kind of stepping in, a little bit of right and left, two, three, four, five, six, seven, go to 10, nine, and stop. Take your right toe, and I want you to just loop and circle that foot around. Just in case, sometimes I'll feel a little, what I call like my little hiccups in those feet and ankles, and I'm gonna rotate that. And now I'm gonna go the other way. And just looping it around, and just keeping the toe down. Very nice. And then I'm just gonna go the other foot. So I'm still moving. I'm not like necessarily doing any static stretch so much in this, because this is kind of my, my little bit of what I call my Jan secret <laughs> of what I do before, after, in the middle of the day to keep the body nice and lubed and healthy, basically. So think of our, um, Think of our exercise, shake it out, as your plate of food, right? We don't just eat carbohydrates or fats. We have a nice balanced diet of our exercise. And that's one of the things what I feel like we're living and breathing and let's keep that going is that we're gonna do a variety of moves and really listen to your body. Nice deep breath in please, three more times. Deep breath in. Beautiful, come on, give me another. Good, just relax the feet wherever you want. Take one arm over, cross and stretch. And give me this nice stretch, just in case you are doing a lot of sitting. I want you to, to really visualize releasing your upper back with these grapevine arms. Stand up, unwind, crisscross the other side. Wrap it if you can, push against your palms, tuck your chin just slightly, and you'll get a great stretch through that upper back, traps, neck, and the whole thing. Nice. And unwind, big shoulder roll back, please juicy shoulder roll all the way back. Go again. Nice, and then please reverse, you knew that was coming. Guys, I hope that you can find this useful. Please uh, go to our YouTube and check it out anytime. I'm gonna be teaching a different format tomorrow morning at nine. Give me a thumbs up on that YouTube if you, if you think it's good or it's something you can share. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thanks so much for showing up and we'll do it again. Keep looking for our schedule, you guys. Congratulations. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.